Howdy again from the country, AP. It's Coach C, back again with another ball skill. Today we're going to be working on the bounce pass. Some of y'all need to be doing a bounce pass. My son Cooper's back to help us out. He's got his basketball shirt on. It's perfect. Wait for us to get set up and we'll walk through how to do a bounce pass. For the bounce pass, you'll need a ball that bounces and a bigger ball. A playground ball, a soccer ball, and a volleyball will work just fine as well. A basketball would be perfect. When you do a bounce pass, you start with your hands on the side of the ball. Both hands. Hold the ball with your arms bent at your chest level. You will take a step towards your target. Not a big step, just a regular size step. Next, you will take the ball Push it down towards the ground quickly so that as the ball is pushed down, it leaves your hand, bounces on the ground, and bounces up to your target. For your target, you can use someone in your house, a friend, whoever your parents say is appropriate. Hands on the side of the ball. Step. I'm going to push it down to Cooper, and he's going to catch it. Push and extend my arms and hands down at an angle towards the ground. Notice that the ball went down and then bounced back up the coop. He's going to bounce past the ball back to me. His hands are on the side of the ball. He's going to take a step. He's going to push down. And the ball will bounce back to me. You can do this close or you can do it really far away. Again, your coach will give you instructions on how far you need to be. It could be 4 feet, 6 feet, 8 feet, 10, 12, 20 feet. Your coach will tell you. Let's see it one more time though. Hands on the side of the ball. Ball in front of my chest. Take one step. Push down hard so that the ball bounces right back up to the target. That is the bounce pass, APE. That's all for now. So for Coach C and Coop, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.